can see some windy weather out here, even some big waves. Some surfers enjoying the weather, but as you mentioned, the Lake Worth Pier still closed. Governor Scott still saying that this is a state of emergency. The storm has been completely unpredictable the whole time, so we've got to continue to watch it. And, and even if it doesn't become a, uh, a uh, tropical storm or hurricane, we can get a lot of rain and uh, we can get a lot of flooding. The tropical storm may have fallen apart, but the state of emergency is sticking around. The governor made the announcement Saturday morning in Naples, back in Palm Beach County, batteries and supplies still flying off the shelves. Managers at this Home Depot say Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday were busiest. So far, we haven't had anyone come in. I still think there's going to be people who come just to prepare, just to be safe, but um, we're ready for them when they do come. Be prepared and just in case. The governor says it's important to stay vigilant on the horizon of hurricane season. Three days of water, three days of food, have your batteries, have your radio, do all these things to get ready. I mean, just say, we all love our families. So get ready and make sure each family member is safe. Speaking of families, the next big question here will the kids have to go to school on Monday? Palm Beach County school still undecided until Sunday when they will make their decision. In Indian River County, they will open for school on Monday. Martin County will announce either later tonight or early Sunday morning. And in Okeechobee County, they will make that announcement on whether or not kids will have school on Monday sometime over the weekend. Of course, we're staying on top of all of the districts, and we will bring you that information on air and online. For now, we're live in Lake Worth, Winnie Burbank, WPBF 25 News.